good morning. Happy Monday. Guess what today is? Leif's birthday. He's 28 years old today. Crazy. I just made him some breakfast. A little birthday breakfast. Every activity, you just add birthday in front of it. So if you're having breakfast, birthday breakfast. We're going to go probably pay, play pickleball later. Birthday pickleball tournament. You know what I mean? So I'll insert some clips of the breakfast that I made him. Birthday breakfast. Oh no, what's on your shirt? The frick. I have no idea what that is. Makeup or something? Eggs and spinach and mushrooms, some avocado toast, and a little chai. Yay. It's actually my 29th birthday. No, it's but not. But I'm 28 years old. He's been trying to get me on board with this all morning. Yeah. When you're born, that's your birthday. It's your first birthday. <laughs> but you're zero. Yeah, a it's birthday? my 29th birthday, but I'm 28 years old. <laughs> okay. It's my 28th year. Okay. Wish him a happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Say happy birthday. Thank you. Now it is time to record our last week of Balanced Boss, which is so crazy. This lesson and then Friday's lesson, and then we're done for our August course, which is sad, actually. I'm sad for it to be over, but... Excited for future courses. Chelsea's here in the studio. We actually forgot that we had Balance Boss on Leif's birthday. So he was like, I have to work on my birthday. But here he is. Oh, well. A trooper. Wow. Here's Leif's present. I've never even tried the pros on. Me neither. Beautiful. Wow, those are beautiful. Free of earwax. Ew. Not for long. Ew. <laughs> Ooh, those are a good fit. I actually like them better than the regulars. Regulars, because they're I just like so. softer. How do I look? You look great. <gasps> you look like a twenty-eight year old. I can't hear a thing. Really? Yeah, they like noise cancel. Are you being serious? I can hardly hear you. It's like very distant. <laughs> I'm talking pretty loud. Am I? Yeah, you're talking pretty loud. It sounds very distant. No earwax. <laughs> Try them on. If I get earwax all over them. They're a really good fit though in the ears. Yeah. The great thing about JC is she just, she understands me. <laughs> she knows what I want. I don't have to tell her anything. I could oh. trust her to go into like a um, gas station and get me exactly what I want. These are perfect. I love them. Good, happy love birthday. You. I changed because we're gonna go play pickleball. But first, I'm having a little snack of this Kite Hill tzatziki, tzatziki, and some carrots. This is like one of the first times I have absolutely, actually that's a lie, I have a little bit leftover self-tanner stuff on my face, but I have no self-tanner at all. This is like not very normal for me. I, I feel like I always have like a remnant of self tanner on and I'm pretty I just like keep a pretty regular schedule with it because I don't tan outdoors so that's my version of tanning is just self tanning but I haven't been putting any tanning stuff on it's kind of freeing but it also feels honestly kind of weird because I just feel so tasty but that's okay I feel like that's literally not good for you why because <laughs> you're supposed to have your your uh, knee at a 90 degree angle when you like squat and stuff or when you lunge yeah and i feel like that was being making your knee yeah. weird just get down here you move okay i don't think that's good for you it's not bad for you <laughs> someone weigh in all right we're waiting for nick and chelsea at the pickleball courts can we get a freaking win for the birthday boy you know what i mean can we yeah. get one win yeah just hang back I'll take control. Cool. <laughs> Guys, my knee is so bruised from, I'll, I'll show you sometime in this vlog at some point, maybe tomorrow. But right now I'm in leggings, so I cannot show you the massive bruise on my knee that I got from hitting myself with the pickleball paddle. And it's actually like so sore today. Birthday boy serving. Name, seven, one, or two, right? Yeah, two. Huh? We're 
home. I'm so sweaty and red still. It's really hot, but it's not as hot as it has been. Let's see what the weather app says. It says 90 degrees. I think it's hotter than that, but we played a few games and we won best birthday present ever for Leif. We finally won. I got that moment on film. It was not even like a cool shot that we got. Nick just literally missed the ball and it was on our serve. So we won 11 to seven. So pretty good. We finally put our losing streak behind us. So that's exciting. Leif is on the phone with his dad right now. He was wishing him a happy birthday. And I ordered some cupcakes. I was going to make cupcakes but the few recipes I was looking at were like, honestly looked very time consuming. I don't have any cake mixes or anything and I was going to make it from scratch. And there were a few more ingredients that I needed that I don't have. And I was like, I should just order them because they will probably taste better anyway. So I ordered some cupcakes and they're supposed to be here. They were supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. So I'm not sure where they are, but I really need to shower. I was telling Leif, it's like non-negotiable after we play pickleball in midday like this that we just have to shower because it's we get so just sweaty and gross so even though i like fully got ready and did my makeup this morning i need to get in the shower completely take my makeup off redo my skincare everything because it's hot where are these cupcakes i need to see what's going on your delivery is on its way track the status here oh i just got a notification it'll be here in 33 minutes. So I'm gonna go shower, and then probably by the time I'm out of the shower, the cupcakes will be here. And we are having some friends over tonight for a little game night birthday party celebration. Hello, I'm eating a salad of spinach, cucumber, and salami with lemon garlic dressing. Whipped this up really quickly before our friends come over for a little birthday celebration. Um, we're gonna play some games. Eat some cupcakes, it's gonna be great. I took a shower, I did some light makeup. I almost didn't even wear makeup because I already went through the whole makeup process then I had to wash it off, but I put a little bit on for the birthday boy. I did this for you, Leif. You don't need to do that, come on. I'm just kidding. Oh. Never do it for men, never put on makeup for men. Just kidding, you can if you want, but don't feel like you have to. I'm hungry, I think I need to eat some more after this because I haven't eaten that much today. I'll probably eat some chips and salsa after this. We have kind of random food right now and I don't feel like making a full on meal because people are gonna be here soon, but we'll see. Yeah, it's great, so it's like a little Well, if you wanna return it, let us know, we can return it. Change of shirt. Change of shoes, you can bring some slides. Put some water. Water. Pickle balls. Oh, look inside. Really? There's it's, not, it's not much. Oh. <laughs> There's money. It's just filled with <laughs> yeah. cash. It's like $50,000. <laughs> oh. We should have given them to him today. Nice. Wait, what is that? Uh, Armbands. Uh, Wristbands. Oh, that's Sweat nice. Pants. Sweatbands. Oh, nice. Wow. Very yeah, thoughtful. Nick, Nick wow. really helped me. Nick's like, what do I see? Oh, oh, cool. oh, <laughs> I know. That was Nick's idea. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. If we were really bad friends and they get you anything for your I already I don't gave care. you I already gave uh, you your present to to Jason. Yeah, Kristen brought a, a little a little candle, candle for us to put in your cupcake. Guys, I don't care at all if you don't get me anything. He's like I actually hate you. <laughs> Just being here. Just your enough. company is enough. <laughs> Good morning. It's the next day. 
I just cut up some fruit. I'm going to put this in a bowl. Cut up some mangoes and strawberries. Here is my little fruit bowl. Do you guys have like a shirt, a go-to shirt that you wear when you just want to be comfy? Because this is my go-to. Very comfortable graphic tee. I'll link it for you guys. I mean, I, I wear this in real life too. But it's also like just feels like a pajama shirt almost. Okay, let's make a chai. I filled this up with ice. I'm gonna be using this classic chai latte. Oh my God. Pour it in. We pour about that much in. You kind of want like half and half, like 50-50-ish. Maybe like 40%, no, like 50-50. Okay, I'm using this milk for the first time. I don't think I've ever used this brand of oat milk. I've had their almond milk. Basically, the ingredients are very clean. The ingredients are literally filtered water, gluten-free oats, and salt. That's it. Pour that in. Then I'm going to use this creamer. It's by So Delicious. It's the um, French vanilla flavor. Just put a little splash of that in here. Ooh, that's really good. Delicious. I feel like the chai and the creamer definitely has enough sweetness in it, so you don't need the sweetness of the milk. It's actually better than the ones I've been making recently with almond milk. So, look at this boy using both of his presents, his AirPods. What what are you listening to, Leif? The What We Said podcast. We love a supportive husband. And he's using his pickleball bag from Nick and Chelsea. Let's see it. Is it a good size? They were scared it would be a little too small. That's awesome. Ooh, that looks the so good. The are in here. A change of shirt, because I always get very sweaty. Mm-hmm. My water, my wallet. People literally think, like, I think they think we're placing it in every shot, but it's in every shot that I take. It's just always around me. You just, you gotta drink water throughout the day. I know, but it's always around the house. Like, every shot that I go to take, I'm like, this, it's on the freaking shelf. It's like, Who's it's everywhere I look. You, because Casey's it's yours. Fault. So, Leif just listened to, or he's listening to our podcast episode, and he was listening to the part, <clears throat> to the part where I told everyone that we did have a fight over pickleball. You guys caught a glimpse of that in last week's vlog. He was saying, JC doesn't like to take my criticism, and then I said, cut the cameras as a joke, and then I didn't expound on it. But on the podcast, I actually told you guys what the argument was about. And so he li he was listening back to this episode today. And he was like, and I said, did you hear the part that I mentioned our fight? And he's like, yeah, I'm going to destroy you today. So we'll see what happens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The heat wave is still going, guys. But guess what? Me and Leif won again one of our games. So we're two-time champs now. Kristen and Marcus came out. And I'm so proud of them. They did so good. Kristen's actually a natural. So, do you actually think I have potential? I do, I actually do. Most people literally cannot even pick a ball. Yeah, you have lots of potential. We've added to our pickleball crew, and when, when um, Kristen and Marcus are fully mobile, they very well might beat us. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Do you guys want to play mermaids with me or? I'm the purple one. I'm the pink one. I'm Poseidon. Got home from swimming and we are eating some burritos from Tokaya. And we're having a little what we said meeting. We're working on merch, guys. Upcoming merch. Brainstorming some stuff. It's been a wild ride with um, COVID and everything happening. Our merch plans got very much shifted. They got demolished. They got demolished. Um, so we're working on some new stuff and Chelsea just made a drawing and it's really, I can't show you guys because otherwise it would give away what the vibe is for our new merch. But when our merch comes out, we will show you the, the um, this drawing and you guys can see how it was born. I just got a package from Summer Fridays and I gotta say, hats off to Summer Fridays because they are doing it so right. The stuff that they send out for like PR stuff, their branding, their whole brand, and actually the products are so good and I'm obsessed with all of them. So basically, they're just a dream brand and look at what they sent me. They sent, don't pay attention to this, Haney thing. Uh, that is not, you did not see that. They sent 
a John and Vinny's pizza in this cute little blue pizza box. How perfect is that? What else do we so got cute. here? Let's show, let's show the lot. Slip pillowcase. Woo! Woo! We nice. love those. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, actually they did send us that. Uh, how was it? Your pitch black, by the That's way. Good. Um, we also got a journal, just simple but cute. Um, obviously they're new. <gasps> okay, wait, I'm so excited about this. This is like an exfoliating, uh, thing. Oh, yeah, puzzle. Wait, is it cute? This yeah, this came with it. There's more. Also a slip scrunchie. Oh my gosh, cute. I'll take it. No. <laughs> um, I think Olive and June, yeah, cute baby blue. Did they? Chelsea. Wait, give me, sorry. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> awesome. I'll have you know my nails are literally blue right now. No. If this vlog camera don't line up soon, <laughs> oh, come on. It's for Beth. <gasps> Yay! I, don't drink I love Christmas. And it all came in this cute little thing. And oh my gosh! Wait, they're oh, wait. so <gasps> incredible. That's cute. You should use it for pickleball. Oh, oh gosh, that's a great idea. Bag. Good idea. That was your first good idea in a while. <laughs> oh no! I just drew up our entire merch. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I told Chelsea I'm gonna give her a manicure. I'm actually pretty good at it. Oh, I remember. It's because I always go from behind. Nice try. Like Literally this. straddles me. <laughs> <laughs> like. I have to get a new bag. <laughs> Welcome to my nail salon. Mm -hmm. Lots of these leftovers are delicious. I just Stop treat me. her like <laughs> a peasant. She's like, thank you. The seconds are wonderful. I'm like eating my John and Minnie's pizza. <laughs> She's like, oh, thank you. The scraps are lovely. <laughs> Good morning. What day is it? Today is Thursday. I had a late night last night. I didn't get to sleep till pretty late. So I woke up a little later than I wanted to today. Um, but I have a call in 10 minutes with Morgan, who is the graphic designer who did all of our rebranding for Balanced Boss. And she's helping me with some graphics for my Instagram and doing like a little mini brand refresh for my brand. I want to do a full makeover for the JC Murray brand because right now it doesn't have much branding. I mean, I feel like my feed always sticks to it to the aesthetic that I like, obviously, but I don't really have like a logo and my website isn't totally aligned with what I, with how I want it to look basically. I'm starting with her just doing a mini brand refresh and doing some Instagram graphics for me that I can post on my feed and on my stories. I think I've told you guys I wanted to implement like a little Motivation Monday quote on my stories and stuff like that. So she's helping me with that. And we have a call in 10 minutes and I feel like I'm still kind of half asleep. So I'm gonna make an iced chai. I just did a little bit of light makeup and yeah. Got done with my call. It went so, so well. I'm really excited to see what she comes up with. I'll update you guys. Give you some sneak previews um, when I get them from her, but I'm currently cutting up a mango. This mango looks really, really good. It's like perfectly ripe right now. I have another call in two hours with my management team to just kind of touch base and go over some upcoming projects and the usual. Other than that, I've just been chilling. Me and Leif are gonna make a TikTok today of like a story time kind of thing of how Chelsea and I started the podcast. So we're gonna work on that. We have some fun ideas for it. So I feel like it's gonna take us actually a while to execute. I'm not doing a very good job cutting this mango. Leif, do you want some cut up mango and strawberry? Do you wanna be on the vlog? In case you guys wanted a pickleball update, I think I'm getting worse. I've literally been losing every single game I've been a part of. My my signature move is the smash, the smackdown move. Like I'll jump up and hit it, you know, like hard going down. This is dangerous with this knife in my hand. Um, but now that everyone's getting better, they're learning not to lob it up to me to give me the chance. Therefore, that was my only thing I was good at. So now I'm actually having to learn how to like, you know, place the ball in certain areas and I'm having to learn more strategy, which I guess is a good thing. Here is the final, pro oh my gosh. Here's the final product. Leif and I just took a little five minute phone break 
we said, let's put our, well, actually, Lake said, let's put our phones down for five minutes. And, you know, it was really nice. And now we're back on our grind. But I'm about to try this cheese. I've never tried this flavor. It is the Garden Herb Chow Cheese with black pepper. I've only ever tried, I don't know if it's, I don't know what kind. It's the brand is Chow, but it's like the normal kind that I feel like is more popular. So I'm gonna give this a try as a little snack. I'm gonna get some crackers out. Okay, I have these seeded, what are they called? Sprouted seed crackers. This is kind of a random size, but put it on the cracker. That's really good. It tastes very similar to the other kind, but it's yummy. Time for my next Zoom meeting. I'm getting on with my management team. Can you hear How's me okay, or do I need to have um, headphones on? No, I can hear you. Perfect. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Got done with my second call, went great, and now I'm eating some lunch. Um, this is the meltdown salad from Creation. Leif this morning was like, do you know what I miss? Creation, because we haven't had it in a while. It's like a juice, smoothie, they have salads and wraps and soups and stuff. Um, their stuff is so, so good, so we ordered some lunch. Okay, so I'm trying this new juice by Suja. I love their juices normally, unless they have celery in them. I try and avoid celery and juices. I know it's so good for you, but I just cannot deal with the taste of it. Um, but I'm getting there. I had a sip of a juice the other day that had celery in it, and I was like, okay. It wasn't horrible. But anyway, this is called the Sweet Beets Juice. It has apple, carrot, beet, banana, and orange. Paired with pineapple, lemon, and turmeric. It's so, so good. It's really delicious. Time to get some sushi. 7.25. Good morning, it's a new day. And today was the last day of our Balanced Boss course for our August four week course. It's done, it's over. I'm so sad, honestly, that it's over. I feel like every Monday and Friday, I feel so inspired and motivated and it keeps me so accountable to like, you know, go after my goals and my dreams too, even though that's, you know, what we're trying to help you guys with, but it also keeps us accountable, so. I always love the months that we do this course. We are not gonna be doing it next month, but we do have different courses coming. Chelsea and I are both working on our own individual courses, so I'm very, very excited about that. I'm working on a like brand building type course. I've been writing a lot of content for it, researching, reading a lot. I'm super excited to tell you guys more about it. Anyway, just stay tuned on YouTube, Instagram, everything. You can follow our Balance Boss Instagram account if you want to stay even more updated on upcoming courses. But yeah, I'll be sharing with you guys when I know Im more information and when I know when it's launching for sure. Something that I feel like I keep forgetting to mention on YouTube, I have literally not mentioned it one time in all of my weekly vlogs that I've been doing, is that I created new presets and they're really cute and some of my favorite presets ever. They're like summery and film inspired. They are on my website now, available to purchase. I'll put a link in the description. I'll put some um, examples on the screen so you can kind of catch a vibe for what they're like, but you just use them on the mobile Lightroom app. It's super easy to use. And when you buy the presets, it'll come with an instructional video to explain to you how to use them with some editing tips as well for how you can like kind of tweak things to look the way you want them to look. If you want kind of like the filmy-ish vibe on your Instagram feed, but you either like don't have a film camera or you shoot some film photos or disposable photos and you just want your iPhone photo to like mesh well with the film look, these presets are perfect for that. That's literally why I created them. My entire Instagram feed for this whole year has been basically just film photos and iPhone photos and the reason that my feed looks cohesive is because of these presets that I've created and tweaked to mesh well with film photos. So anyway, there's my little spiel. I just keep forgetting to mention it to you guys. If there's anyone who follows me on YouTube and not on Instagram, you may not know about these presets. So I'll link them below if you guys wanna check them out. I just recorded an Instagram story, you guys, and I had this Instagram filter on my face and I looked at, I took a photo with the Instagram filter on me and then without it and I was like, wow. People can catfish people so much these days. Like, okay, let me show you. So this is what I look like with the Instagram filter on my face. And this is what I look like without it. I feel like it's kind of hard to tell, but like my skin just looks so smooth. My nose looks smaller. There's a lot of things that are, my hair looks like really shiny. And then you swipe, oh, that's not the right picture. That's nothing, just kidding. 
you swipe over and it's just like so much more dull. And you know, that really gave me an insight into today's world. I was like, wow. First of all, I was thinking dating these days, that would be so hard because if you're, you know, people follow you or hit you up on like Instagram or Tinder or however, I feel like they would almost have way too high expectations of what you look like. And then they would meet you in real life and be like, oh, you don't look like you do on your Instagram because no one looks like they do on their Instagram. Newsflash, very rarely do people look the same exact in person because your Instagram photos are like your best angles, the best lighting you can find. Some people tweak themselves or you're using an Instagram filter so it, you know, sizes things differently. And it's kind of crazy. So I was just pondering on that and I was like, whoa, dating these days would be, that would be interesting for sure. I was also thinking about this the other day because I used to, I haven't been super consistent with YouTube that often. Like I would commit to doing one video a week and then I would just slack off and not do it. And I've, I've gone, I've had my ups and downs with YouTube and consistency because you guys know I do a lot of other things as well. I have my podcast, Instagram, TikTok, all this stuff. So sometimes it's hard to manage all of them, but I've kind of found out what's been working for me and like, you know, prioritizing certain things. Anyway, my point is I was thinking I got to a place, I think it was last year when I decided to vlog more freely and just not worry so much about angles. And when I'm editing YouTube videos still to this day, like sometimes I'll see a clip of me talking and I'm just kind of cringing because it's just not a good angle or like I have a zit and it's kind of taken from below and like I have a double chin, it feels like, and I feel super insecure. Like when I watch the footage back, I'm like, I don't look good at all. Like I am, I do not feel confident about the way I look in that video or like if I, you know, I've filmed a lot without makeup this year, um, which I never did. If you watch old YouTube videos, I would never film without makeup just cause I didn't feel comfortable doing that. And I'm not saying everyone should feel comfortable because you should do what you, you know, you want to do, but it's been enlightening to realize that it doesn't have to be the perfect angle, it doesn't have to be perfect lighting, and you can kind of just do whatever you want and you're your own worst critic. People don't care as much as you think they do. I will rarely get comments that are like, you look so bad. And even if I do, it's like, you know, whatever. I know for I know that I actually didn't look that great in that shot, so if you say that to me, it's like, yeah, well, who cares? Um, but if you're feeling insecure about things like that with YouTube, I know I have other friends who feel the same way. They're like, I just can't vlog because like, I feel like you have to, you know, get ready and like be all done up. And um, there's a few YouTubers that I feel like have really inspired me because they just are so, I, I know there's a lot of YouTubers who film without makeup and who are just super candid and like, you know, not all always perfectly dolled up. Emma Chamberlain is a great example. I feel like she has, she kind of pioneered a new way of vlogging that's just like, she just does her thing, doesn't care what, you know, she looks like and she'll say that all the time and I really admire that about her. Um, I've been watching Maggie McDonald lately. She's gives me very like productive, inspirational vibes and I just love her whole vibe and everything about her and she's another one where she'll totally vlog with no makeup or when she has, you know, if she's struggling with acne or anything and I'm like, thank you, like that's so... Good to know that we're all human beings. Sometimes we have zits, that's totally fine. We're all beautiful just the way we are. There's my little rant for the day. Um, I'm wearing a hoodie right now, which Leif is always so confused by me wearing a hoodie in the summer. He's like, why are you wearing that? It's literally 95 degrees outside, but it's kind of chilly in our house. Like the AC's on. Sometimes I'll be wearing this and then I'll go outside and I'm like, I'm burning up. Like I need to be wearing nothing. It's so hot outside, but inside, this works for me, okay? I'll link this hoodie below. It's very, very comfortable. I'm wearing a size medium. This is definitely one of my go-to hoodies that I reach for in my closet. You know how you always have those, those things you reach for for comfort? Like, they're just super comfortable and soft. This is one of those things, so I'll link it for you guys. Guess what time it is? Pickleball time. We're at the pickleball courts. I have been sitting here because I had to post something on Instagram for a brand. I was about to post the stories and then I realized I didn't have the correct swipe up link. So I'm waiting to hear back from the brand. Chelsea and Leif are hitting the ball back and forth right now. And I'm trying to figure out this thing. I'm gonna go play with them though for a little bit and check back on my phone in like five minutes. some dinner. 
container, I ate a salad, and now I'm making a little healthy treat that is pretty basic, but if you guys have not tried it, you should. You take a date and you just cut it, like slice it a little bit open like that, and then take some almond butter, just basically put it inside the date, like so, and then take a chocolate chip or two. Whoops, this is not focused. And this is what it looks like. And it will satisfy your sweet craving. At least it does for me. Whoa! Good morning. Just made a green smoothie, a mint, the mint cacao chip smoothie from Daily Harvest. I've shown it many times on here. Whoa, this is kinda long. Sorry if it's loud, the laundry's going in the background. I'm wearing my new Skims t-shirt that I'm so in love with. It's so stretchy and soft and comfy. So someone recently asked, oops, what my um, updated workout routine is at the moment. The answer is I've been doing lots of random workouts. I have not had a super specific workout routine. And I also have been fairly inconsistent with like, I used to have a very set workout schedule and I think I just got kind of bored of it. So I'm trying to switch things up. Um, because we've been playing a lot of pickleball and doing random stuff like that, I feel like sometimes I'll just count that as my workout that day because I'm moving around and running around and stuff. And especially when it's hot outside, it's so exhausting. So I'm like not really in the mood to work out, but I was telling Leif that I do want to keep doing my normal workouts on top of pickleball because I don't feel like pickleball is enough of like a full body exercise, especially for what I'm used to. Um, so today I'm doing a full body sculpting flow by Tasha Franken on Instagram. She has really great workouts that pretty much always, I don't feel like there's ever, you need like equipment or anything. So they're usually like Pilates flows kind of. And yeah, so I'm gonna try that today. some facial sunscreen because we are gonna go on a hike with Chelsea. We're bringing Lady and Sophie. We haven't been in a long time, so I'm excited to go. Um, but I did wanna tell you guys that this is my favorite facial sunscreen. I posted this recently on my Instagram because I did like a ask me my favorites couple slides where I showed my favorite products. And this sunscreen has been one of the only ones that doesn't break me out. It says on here it's for skin types prone to acne, rosacea and hyper hyperpigmentation. So if you're in the market for a facial sunscreen, because sunscreen is so important for your face, for aging, I highly recommend this. My esthetician actually recommended it to me and it smells good, it works great, it's SPF 46. So I'll link it below if you guys wanna check it out. I also just asked on my Instagram story, if anyone has a favorite spray or cleaner to wipe down their like yoga mats, workout mats, because it has been a while since I have cleaned mine because I don't have something that I like to like wipe it down with. But obviously I feel like I definitely need to wipe it down, especially because I get all sweaty and then I feel like that's only gonna add to like my, you know, getting acne on my back if I'm like doing sit-ups on a mat that's not sanitized. So. I'm putting a question box on my Instagram story right now, and I'll let you guys know what the top answers are. At Jones on third, getting some brunch. Actually, it's like 4 p.m. What time is it? It's 3.15 p.m., so it's more like a late lunch. It's a breakfast burrito and some fruit. Are you gonna eat that little raspberry? We are home. It is a little bit later in the day. We've just been hanging out, cleaning up a little. We gave Lady a bath. And now I'm making some dinner. I am roasting some sweet potatoes in the oven and they're almost done. They're gonna be done in two minutes and 14 seconds. Um, and I'm also making a spicy black bean burger for myself. 
putting that on the skillet right now. Leif is making a shrimp burger from Trader Joe's. Have you guys had these before? Yeah, I had them once before. And you liked it? Delicious. Delicious. I don't particularly love shrimp, so that's why I'm making a black bean burger. Um, and I'm probably going to put some like dressing. I don't even know what I'm doing yet, but stay tuned. I'm making fry sauce. But not for fries. <laughs> Ew, I kind of hate mayonnaise. <gasps> oh, I really actually kind of hate mayonnaise. I wish I had vegan mayonnaise, but I don't, unfortunately. Okay, I did two scoops of mayonnaise. Some ketchup. Why isn't this coming out? Oh, it is. You know what I wonder? I wonder if I put, like, smoked paprika in, if it would taste good. Do you usually add anything when you make this? Any sort of spices? No. Maybe a Mustard. mustard really yeah. so we have this little spread and I was gonna put that on my burger and I feel like it'll be kind of good with um, the sweet potatoes too I'm gonna put some paprika and wait what did I literally just say garlic powder. Oh, yeah, garlic powder. all right let's let's give this a whirl I'm gonna put some smoked paprika in here probably not too much some garlic powder. Stir it all in. Delicious. I'm gonna put some of it on my burger. Yum. Cheers. It's good. Let me dip these sweet potatoes in there. Wow, I love when something I make turns out. Rare occasion, but always feels great. Okay guys, before I end this vlog, I wanted to try these on camera and give them a review. So it is plant-based mochi. I love, love, love mochi. If you have not tried it, you definitely have to. It's so good and so interesting. I can't really explain the texture, but it says it's a premium frozen dessert wrapped in sweet pillowy dough. And I feel like that does a good, that's a good description of mochi. So I got the strawberry kind. Here's what it looks like. Okay, that's pretty good. The dough is kind of thicker than I'm used to but the flavor is really good. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching a week in my life. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that I spend a lot of time at home because there's not much more we can do right now, which is a bummer, but thanks for supporting me anyway and watching all my videos it makes me really happy and I'm loving YouTube right now. So thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, hope you guys have an amazing week.